Okay, take care. The renegade when afraid. Man in the wilderness. I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, man, take care. All right, so tonight I got at, you know. Tonight at. Tonight at. The lady does call me, you know. I want some things and I remind me. Something in, a, in, a, in a the United States. I remind, remind me of something. But people, hear this now. Victimization with the Vaz. Yes. I want you to add tonight, you know. Because you remember the win. I'm not going to talk, but you have a, a counselor. St. Margaret's be a division. But the Vaz go and move. Him are the one who do the work. You know, you know, take work from people, you know. You know, do that. So here this now. Definitely. I'm going to show you something. But Darrell, I'll show you something where you send out. Where you just send out to. Because I have that. Remember, I have the win in anything where you type and send out. You know, I have it. So for them, think with Darrell Vaz, I deal with over there. So. The Mia, you remember the Mia there with him? him? Tell him get $75 or $10. He might put him in the back. But he might remove him immediately after the general election. For him plan that. For put Vassal. For put in Vassal. And then try to win back East Portland because it matter about who's part of Stronghold, JLP Stronghold in East Port, Portland and them, them thing there. Well, him type out a thing that sell it. I know me have it. So I'm going to show you where him type out. Because I'm the man, I'm the winner now. I'm the man, I'm the winner now. I'm the win. But you see the young man with them fight out when, when he, um, Steve Williams afraid the real boss, afraid of him because the rising star. Afraid of him. Because I don't know how you're not the a young man like this will set some things, you know, for the place. And then you're keeping, you keep on, um, the one that $10 for $75. Out of $10. Because Devil Vaz wants some yes, man. Some yes, man. So me, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to knock right now, I'm going to drop, because I have something for the young man there, I'm going to chat to the young man there. I have to chat to the young man there. Tonight, I'm sure. I have to talk to him. Because when you see rising star, you know, try to turn him in a falling star, it's wrong. And him covered at that young man, Stephen Williams. So I move him for nothing at all. Him like keep dunce and keep some party faithful. You know, listen, people, you feel, you feel like, let me tell you, you want people who are work. Not dunce and party faithful. For manipulate the system. All right. So I'm going to show you the young man when I attack. See, I'm him move. I may ask you something when I'm doing. See me? Huh? This is the concept where they move. Stevens Williams, yeah? Stephen Williams, eh? He was the recipient of the Prime Minister Youth Award 2006 and 2007. You see this? Founder of the Vars Football League. I am the founder of the Football League. I do a lot of things up there, not Vars. See? Some feel threatened, some get rid of the youth, yeah? Evil, you know, look at him. I did the work, yeah, man. And a lot more, very popular, well known, right? So, him, even the football league, but Vaz feel threatened, so Vaz make sure I push him away, you know. Him find everything, and you know? I'm going to funeral and them thing there. But I remember when no one going with the young man, you know. And them, yeah, we should have given the blind, but no, them want to play a political thing with him. Yeah, it's it wrong, it's so wrong, you know. Yeah, man. Him work, so them push him out. Because Vaz feel threatened. Yeah? I see that, that I'm, I'm, I'm found them thing here now. Okay. Okay. So him, him feel threatened about this young man, that him, him push him out. Him feel threatened about him, and him and Vaz push him out. Yeah? And keeping, and keeping the mayor, where, 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 where tell us him get, him get $75, I don't mean, know how him do it. You know, I mean, I know I might do some miracle around here, you know, I turn water and I wine them, I turn $10 and can get $75 out tight and them thing there. But me show you something more Vaz right now. Vaz, this is your, this is your typing out thing. This is Vaz's plan where I have over there. Watch this. Vaz, where you, where you send out, I have it, you know. Because you know, so I have the win, so you know, I have it, right? Watch this, people. That's so where I'm sending out, you know. All right, watch out. After concert carcass, with both member of parliament at the time and his wife and party hierarchy, it was decided as a political strategy to reappoint Mia Thompson. These are the Mia people um, we get $75 out of $10. And Deputy Vassal 
Until next general election, at which time Councillor Vassal will take over the mayor immediately. as mayor immediately. So, the so you see these people? So I'm, I'm, I'm a pine back $75. I'm a pine back the $75 man out of $10. Right? Yes. I'm a pine him back as mayor, push him to my mayor. And then when him win now, they might move him immediately. No, no, after general election, then they move him immediately and put in Vassal. Yeah, where am I keeping Vassal? This is a, a vast type this today, you know. A vast thing this, you know. Look here. Yeah, but look here. Look here. I'm going to bring out him, they might use it for you. Yeah? Okay, so you are going to bring out, you know, Thompson, they might going to use it, right? Vassal, are use it. Vassal, right, this, you know. This is the political strategy. As Mancinil is the strongest division. That time I say that labor right division, the strongest division in a East Portland. You see this? In the East, a critical and success in the East. Critical, the success in the East. Second day, Councillor Vassal will go into the next local government as mayor, which will give him a huge boost in his division. So they must surround the strongest parts around the MOC there. So they must turn my mirror and give my boots, you know, what the mirror shit. In her head. Hear this. But that can't hold him the next time in the next local government. You know, look here. This agreement was. It, well, no, it, it was agreement. And anonymously agreed to, including Councillor Vassal. Oh, so him know. You see, the man kick him out and you must know. Oh, 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 the Counter mayor, Vassal, he's stupid, him agree to this too, you know. But Thompson, I mean, as the Thompson, best including political strategy for our Portland going into the next general election, general and local election. You see this? The next general and local. Look here. Vaz, right, this, you know. Vaz, I forgot to me, me, me have your thing, you know. Remember, I said, me have the, the win. So anything where you're right and anything, me have it here. Me show it, yeah, man. So Vaz, Vaz right that, yeah? Yes. Remember this other winning you know? us, so the winner got have it. We are, we are. Say not anything. Remember me got have it. Remember me had the win. Me had just the win, so <laughs> it have to go and you know, we have to see it and you know. Sure, one more one, sure. I'm ready. Saying anything over this, so me have to, me have to see what I want. You see me say. So you see that 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 that, that council here yeah, for St. Margaret's be a division. Vaz move him, call him, call him Prime Minister and anything over there. So Vaz move him. Because I feel threatened. I was keep this as me. I'm not a fucking him. No, I was no. Can I not talk to them? I was them tell. Look here. This is what you were saying. Mr. McKenzie is suggesting that there's a certain level of partisanry on the part of how you allocate certain benefits at the municipal level. Mr. McKenzie is trying to come to this on this platform and say anything like that. What I have done is what he was practicing when he was the mayor. Oh. When he was the mayor and he gets the funding from the ministry, he shares it in a 50, 100 percent basis. He gives the jail to 50 percent and they take 100 percent. And it is evident right now that is exactly what I'm doing. Oh, hold on, so hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that, that match doesn't sound right. If mm -hmm. you get a hundred million dollars, you take one hundred percent and get yes. the, 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 the PNP fifty. Get half of it. No, that's not. No, 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 no. Something that's right what he was doing. No, but you can't have one hundred and fifty percent or something. Sir. How much would right. he take, and how much if would he, he get, give the PNP? If he gets ten, if he gets ten dollars, he gets half of it. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's what he Fifty dollars out of ten dollars, and this um jail you get twenty five dollars. Out of ten dollars, him at the mia. So then tell Vassal, so you are returning the mia, you know. But I get him and put you at the depot you now. But are you returning a mia because the part the way they in his port and it's strong, so one of the people them build you up. So you know you have you have the youth you have and things as a mia. So that's the plan, and that's what we just show you how how Vass himself type. Yeah? You know what I'm going to do? Because I know I'm going to win. So what I want to do is find a young man I know and carry him on. Because him is like a threat. I want him to come tell me 
come tell me why Vaz them move him. I'm gonna hear some things when do if a Vaz do it or a him. Well on there. Let me try it. Yeah, because me's a man may have to have link to everybody, you know. Even Vaz himself, you know. See? Well on. Get a link to everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah, say, man. Man in the man in the at the wind this, you know. Man in the wilderness, you know. Well on. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, sir. Um, that's Stephen Williams. Yes, speaking, sir. Okay. We ain't loan some here. The win. The renegade when afraid. Um, tell me something. You are the counselor yes, from over St. Margaret's beer. When the red vase uh, removed. Yes, sir. When we move you though? Because we see you do a lot of work. You know, I have, have a long list of your thing where you do, you know. When the red vase do, I know how you do it. I mean, know say when me call person like you are the person I can speak to to power. Um, when when we move you in the first place, because you don't do an excellent job. Um, well, to be honest with you, up to this point, I have not received any formal communication from the Jamaica Labour Party which speaks to any breaches, any deficiency with regards to my performance as counselor, anything that they may have seen constitution and otherwise that i have failed to do i didn't do or anything at all all i have all i have from the jamaica labor party is a letter that was sent to me i believe either the 16th or 17th of january to inform me that they have no uh, they are, that mr clyde mckenzie was declared the candidate at a central executive meeting on the 14th of january and he will be contesting the upcoming local government election, which was, of course, held on the 26th of February. And that, they, and that I remain the chairman. It doesn't affect my chairmanship. And so um, they thank me for my service. And that's it. That's, that's the only formal communication I've had. I've, I've not had anything else from the Jamaica Labour Party. So, hold on. So, so you, are the, you, you are the council, sitting council at the time, because the election just won. And and you busy at the way you are doing all the time. You still represent and represent the people they wanna do your work. And you you oh, never sir, nobody sir. never call you in, them just give you a letter and say them thank you and them select somebody else over you. Well, what has happened? Since I was elected in twenty sixteen, November twentieth, I was never ever called to any meeting. I was never spoken to. I was never brought before any committee or individual with regards to any disciplinary matter or any adverse situation that may bring my leadership into question. Right? So mm -hmm. on the twenty on the twenty on the tenth of September twenty twenty three, mm -hmm. at a meeting in Olaba, eighty five candidates, eighty five councillors and councillor caretakers okay mm -hmm. were presented for the parishes of Portland, saint mary saint catherine of course to include portmore and the saint thomas era council too mm -hmm. we represented at a at a era council meeting and grand gospel concert in all mm -hmm. and we were all presented as candidates for our respective division now uh on the 27th of december at about after two i got an email from the jamaica labor party under under the under the auspices of miss sharon a webster an instruction on the um from the general secretary dr Horace chang and um, that there is a selection scheduled for the 4th of january 2024 at the Mount Pleasant Primary School. I, 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 I respond to the letter on the 29th of December, two days later, mm -hmm. and I inform the General Secretary that what they are doing is unconstitutional. I reminded him that I was already selected and presented and declared as the candidate on the 10th of September in Olaba. 
-hmm. And I also would like to him that a quick consultation with the workers and supporters in the St. Margaret's Bay Division, right? The feedback that I'm getting is that they would prefer to have a consultation meeting with the relevant personnel from the party to include Dr. Chang if necessary. So as to iron out any issue and not to put the seat at risk and also to give me a fair chance. Um, so I outlined all of that to him and um, he did not respond. Uh, the Tuesday, right, so that was a Friday. So the Tuesday now, at about after two, I got another email from Mr. Rene Webster from um, the JLP office that I should present the party with two uh, names of, of, of indoor agents who will work on my behalf on the, uh, for the selection uh, the Thursday. And um, I was really, really so disappointed. So I, I went to see my attorney, Mr. Hugh Wildman, and I explained the situation to him. Mm -hmm. And I asked him to prepare whatever documentation for an injunction, because at that point, I was so constrained because apart from the formal letter that I wrote to, 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 to Dr. Chang, which Minister Vaz was copied on it, the MP mm -hmm. for the area, um, uh, Robert Montague, the chairman of the party, was copied on it, and another. And I did not get any response. So, yes, Mr. Warmington was copied on it as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but of course, Mr. Warmington would have already declared his hand that he would have already presented us as candidates, and so therefore, um, he's not going to mingle with the process anymore because the, the, the presentation had already taken place, you know? Mm -hmm. um, anyways, um, I took out an injunction. Now, the injunction was not to say that the Jamaica Labour Party cannot have a selection because, indeed, the, point, the Constitution points the same. However, the precedent and the norm is that they get at least 14 days' notice, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Not even that was I was not accorded with, right? And so, therefore, I, it looked hard. It was a kangaroo selection. It was set up to... It was just a formality to get to get me out of the system, basically, without without any adverse uh, feedback to 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 um to, to Mr. Vaz and the, and the Jamaica Labour Party, right? So mm -hmm. having seen that, um, I took out the injunction, as I said, with the intention that the party would have, you know. Yes. Um, brought us to the table and, 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 the, and the best um, solution put forward. Now, what the party did, he put the injunction in place, the party went ahead and named Mr. Clyde Mackenzie on the 14th what? of January. And, yes, and proceeded to nominate him on the, on the um, 8th of February. Now, when we went back for the hearing on the, fir on the um, 1st of February, for the injunction hearing, I did not I did not um I did not start to to extend or renew the injunction because what I found out is that these gentlemen they, they apparently they do not respect the uh, the authority of the court because what they tried to do was to separate the they tried to separate the chairmanship from the candidacy, which if you Mr. Lonesome can tell me any candidates that ran in the last election, right? And just concluded local government election, who was not the chairman of their division. Well, I can tell you. Hmm. You're a genius. You understand? <laughs> two, two. That's so true. They, do it, they do it for convenience, that's a fact. Um and you know, I mean, I mean, I I I I, I never want to bring the party to disrepute mm -hmm. because even though these men are acting on behalf of the party, I still have to remember that there is a wider number of persons who did not do anything to hurt me or my chances. So at the end of the day, um, it wasn't just my election alone for St. Margaret's Bay. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the entire country, mm -hmm. right? And in terms of Jamaica Labour Party, the, 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 the entire party. So in that regard, I didn't have much to say, more than I just asked my, my attorney to, to let things flow. And so in that regard, the judge ruled that there is no serious matter to be tried and that um, he, he, the judge awarded costs to them. No, right, the judge, nice hold on, don't move though. Don't move with them. But the judge just sound like them in a pocket, man. Them people are very careful, man. Because all the judge um, awarded costs to them. You know, do not, so you, no, you, no, you no, do the right thing, no, you know. 
No man, no. Once, mm. especially for especially for the second year hearing. Yes. Um. Yeah. The judge, the judge is right. The judge is right. Mm. The judge is right. Yeah, man. The cost would have to be uh, uh, awarded to them. But the fact is, you know, the mm. fact is, the judge can the judge can only deal with the constitutional legal aspect of the matter. The judge cannot interfere, intervene, um, in terms of the politics itself. You understand? Oh, uh, okay. And, okay. and mm. right and. Right. So what they what they what they have done is to is to write the the the, the periphery of the of the constitution, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, put it this way, it is it is a disgrace. Mm. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. And I wonder where young black men, young black men, if we really have a place in politics in Jamaica where that place is and how can we proceed because uh i mean you know when people can use their money power and authority and abuse people from humble beginning who put themselves forward to serve this beautiful country it is a sad day in our history because all that happened was just uh brute force bullism victimization I mean, I mean, up to this point, no one has said anything to me formally and said, well, you know, Mr. Williams, X, Y, Z, or whatever. Everybody does operate as, as normal. You understand? I have served this party for, for eight years as chairman of that division and seven years as its, as its candidate and, uh, and, and councillor. Mm. You understand? And I would have worked with, with Mr. Vaz, uh, with Minister Vaz, at least 10 years prior to that. Mm -hmm. You understand in terms, of, in terms of politics, but I have done so much, so much um, else work for the parish. So many, so many other things for the parish, my brother. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know, it is just unbelievable. You, you just bring in a man less than one month before an election. You know, it's just unbelievable. Trust me. That man, so that, that, tell me something, though. That man that them bring in, him, him, him come from the parish, and thus he's from the parish. Um, uh, he's from the parish. He's a uh, he would have served as the as the JLP candidate in um in twenty twelve local government, but he lost that election against um Dexter Roland. Okay. Um uh, I mean Clyde was a good friend of mine, uh, probably up to the point where where they use him to replace me. So when they do that and they tell him say no, you're on him good, so we're not we're not gonna do this, you know, because Well, I mean right. Clyde and I had a Clyde and I had an excellent relationship. I mean we we we, we he was in charge of the knowledge team at the time when I had Eastern Strikers. We, we, we volunteer, we work on the labs project, etc. I'm a very good friend of mine. I mean, I was, I was surprised that he took on that offer, to be honest with you. All right, tell me something. The football league, there, are you the brainchild for that? Them about, them about league, I think, um, some VARS league, some football league. Are you the one who come up with that too? Upon receiving the Prime Minister's Youth Award in 2007, mm -hmm. um, I volunteer some time with Minister Vaz in getting uh, his social and, and sports program up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest and has been the most consistent one, yes, is the Dal Vaz West Portland Constituency Football League. Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did, I did, I've done a lot of work with that. I mean, put it this way, I, I considered, I mean, <clears throat> Up to December, up to I think December twenty first or twenty second, the Thursday before Christmas, Minister Vaz and I actually toured the division. I I considered Minister Vaz to be, I mean, I mean, my father died in twenty twelve, and I I would consider my father up to up to up to I mean, up to January of this year, Amatafa. Mm. Um, and I mean, you know, outside of politics, I don't know if. Minister Vaz has realized what has happened, what, what he has done, and um, you know the the, the the earth, because there's nobody could not say anything bad about him to me. Mm -hmm. I, I I can't tell you that, and because I consider this gentleman as a father, not even a big brother, I know, a father. father. Yes, I yes. I trusted him. I love him. I cherish his guidance. I cherish the exposure. I cherish the support that he gave me. And 
when everything was happening and I was not having his hearing, I became very concerned. But when I when I realized on the fourth when the injunction came out, I thought that Minister Vaz would just sit back and say, okay, this thing has happened. Let me try and reach out to Stephen. To me, that is, right? Yes, yes. And uh, try and reach out to the party and try and see if we can bring some resolution. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, instead of that, he, he went on the offensive against me. No. And I was surprised because it was just a few weeks ago that Minister Vaz took out uh, um, a lawsuit against uh, Dr. Dayton Campbell. Mm -hmm. Right? In the, in, the, in the Supreme Court too, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Yes. In terms of what, what our court is. So what, what the point I'm making is it, it is not a bad thing to seek the court's intervention yes, yes, and a matter yes. especially we are concentrated to do so. True, yes. You understand? Yes. So 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 up until that point, I was confident of Minister Vaz. I trusted him as a friend, as a father. Not even as a friend, but a father. Mm. More than a friend. And I I believe this is just my own. This is just my own thinking and belief. I believe that I was betrayed by him. If there was one candidate, if there was one counselor, if there was one counselor caretaker, if there was one person, that Minister Vaz should have stood up for and to give a very fair chance is me. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about being biased towards him, but if, 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 if I had faltered, for example, he should be the person. That should have stood up with me. He yeah. said he was the person that was out front and been offensive, been disrespectful. You understand? Wow. Mm. I mean, I up to this point, up to this point, I am I I can't, I don't know. I am I can any day I get the chance to speak with Mr. Savage, I can tell him because he, he, I am I am so disappointed with Mr. Savage. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Disappointed and hurt. It can't be. It can't be that he has done this to me. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Minister Barth know that I have worked. There's not one program that I have instituted in the division that I have not mentioned to him and sent him evidence, sent him fact of it. He knows. He knows about the roads that they have done. He knows about the debushing. He knows about the drain cleaning. He knows about the clean of the cemetery. He knows about the medical assistant. He knows about the medical assistant. He knows what bridges this that. He and I have we have done many joint projects together. He is aware. Mm. He is aware. And he can't separate himself from it and say it is the party. The party did not write an affidavit and send to court. The party did not say that I'm a traitor. The party did not say they are expelling me. The party did not put anything to, 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 to my line and tarnish my character and my reputation. The party did not instruct him to do it. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of people say that I took the party to court. I took the executive of the party to court who made the decision. The Jamaica Labour Party was never named as a, as a respondent or a defendant in the matter. Yeah, but it don't, it don't even matter because if, if if you have the general secretary and them thing of the party, I, 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 and them write to you, them wrote to you, right? Um, you have a right to do what you do. You understand? You don't just get up and you just move up. You spend so much, so much um years and do what you are doing. Right, they work for the people, them they can't move you like this. It's wrong. You know wrong people. It's wrong. Minister Vaz, mm. in, in Minister Vaz, in Minister Vaz is after the in the court. Minister Vaz outlined to the court that on the day that the selection was supposed to have taken place, that having knowledge that an injunction that I filed for an injunction, right, and in, uh, was was large, he used the opportunity to gauge the views of the workers. And he said that 160 of the 200 workers told him that he is to replace, that I am to be replaced. And when I check with, with at least 100 of the workers who were there, they said nothing like that. In fact, nothing like that happened. That was a lie. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. it, it, it was false. Right? And there's no evidence to prove it. Right? And in addition to that, they said that a poll was done 
an, an audit in the form of a poll was done in November. I don't know who did the poll, when the poll was done, or what was the result of the poll. I was never ever brought to the table to discuss it. I did not get a fair chance. I did not get a fair chance. The people of the division did not get a fair chance. Up to this time, up to this time, neither the party nor Minister of Oz has taken the time out to even present Mr. Mackenzie properly to the people of that decision. It was a half-hearted meeting that was done in Shrewsbury two days, two or three days before nomination. Mm. And I don't matter what Minister of Oz want to say. Just like how I can give him credit for the good that he has done to me. And I will, I will tell anybody that. Yeah, and I can't take that away from him, uh, this, this, uh, yes. I can't take that away from him, right? Mm -hmm. He gave me a start in terms of the elected representation part, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? But at the same time, equally, he must take responsibility for his action against me that was unfair and unjust. Mm. That's true. And I can tell him, anytime I see him, I can tell him that I am totally disappointed. And I, Mr. Lonesome, I don't, I don't think, I don't believe that Mr. Vaz is, I uh, was aware at the high standard that I held him to. Okay? Yes, yes. But he has, he has totally lost my trust and he has totally lost my confidence. All of that has been eroded. But, as I said, I thank him for the good that he has done. So I don't know if it is his modus operandi to do good and then, and then mess it up. I don't know. I don't, okay. I don't know. Because, remember now, this, this is, is, is the member of parliament. How much comes to... He's the MP. In the member, yeah, in the member, in the, in the MP. And, and, Right. Them, the general secretary will not write you if an affirm thing that to write you because yeah, they might that's not out, for you, so you only get a letter from I, them and not like that. What, I, what mm. I found out after I brought the matter to court, yes. right? Because when I, when I brought the matter to court, you know, Minister Vaz wasn't in the mix of things, you know, because I thought that the party was just acting on its own. Mm. You understand? But when I brought the matter to court, that was when I found out that Minister Vaz was behind. The development because at that point he he submitted about six or four letters mm -hmm. um and one that he didn't one that he made reference to but four that came from him directly to the party and one that came from allegedly came from the executive to the party in 2020 that mm -hmm. he made reference to us and a copy of it i can say to you yes Senator. that mm -hmm. i up, up to that point where i saw things after david i had never seen any copy of those letters they were never brought to my attention. I was not a party to any of them. And no one brought any such concern to me during my tenure over the seven years that, that, that I was there. Mm. But, but you see, but you see that though, know, because of something to you now, um, Stephen, because you have all this confidence and, and everything in a, in a vase, right? You wouldn't even think yeah. of, say, well, like, I'm a move, I just the party I act up. No, it wouldn't be because I'm a member of parliament there. Yeah, the councillor. So oh why, right, why, well, right. so all oh, the stay at tone and just write and just pick you out and just write your letter and say this and that. It will not happen. Well, well, so and the well, female and oil well, move, they want to do that because yeah. they are this him. So you never figure it out because the respect for you are female say no, he won't even do this. I can't hear him. Yeah. But it turn out to be okay. him, snake. Take time, pick up. Take time. Take time. Take time. Because you know the Anything. I why, why I'm so surprised, you know, uh, Wayne, is that mm. Minister Vaz and I have an excellent communication, right? Yes. And um, he could have he could have called me and we speak about whatever situation and we try, you know, I mean, because remember, no, no, he's the he's the MP, so things that probably he's aware of, I am not aware of. Because remember, no, when people when people are doing certain things, you really don't know. So maybe maybe people that are feeding with. Uh, with fake news and fake information and all of that, which he knows of the project and how I operate and so on. So he's the one who's supposed to repel those when they come to him. But instead of doing that, what he did was to hold what they say to be true, all right, mm. and, and gave me the wrong. You understand what I mean? Mm. So, 
I mean, I mean, he should have just called me and we have a discussion and I will put certain things on the table. And I mean, we make the best decision going forward. I mean, it didn't need all of this, you know. It, I mean, I think I think Minister Vaz has done more damage to to his own career mm -hmm. and his own stand as a member of parliament by by kicking me out, right, or seeing me kicked out, right, rather than trying to to continue. I'm not saying to spoon feed to spoon feed me at all, but to continue for us to work together because remember. He is up a certain age and it, and and the time that he spent is on his way out, which I know I know I am I am actually continuing to remain there to serve the party and to serve the country. Mm. So the first year can't be to kick me out. The first year must be to see how things can be remedied. You understand what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, so all right. Just think connected. up. Think up what you said, Kawhi. You are rising star. I'm going to see some right. more there till like maybe like a mic in me, like a late year, 90 or 100. In fact, like maybe I get, get threatened by you because you, are, you are do an excellent job. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because be I'm going to start because if you don't do nothing wrong <laughs> and you do some nice job, that means if a man move you because you, you serve the people, then that means he must feel threatened. It's a must. I'm feeling like maybe my rise against me in the West Portland, you're saying, I wonder. <laughs> Yes, because it happened in a current down with the minister. Well, 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 I, tell, I tell the young man, I tell Morris, where name, I say, Listen, to me, you I mean, want to challenge yeah. me now. I'm gonna make sure you move. And you see, the young man cross over, and then when him see it, then when him see it, yeah. What you see, the thing is, you know, the thing is, um, to tell you the truth, yes, I, I, I was minister of ours, know that my other name is prime minister. Right? That, that make it worse now. We had a name. <laughs> so, so <clears throat> and people, the people them call you Prime Minister in West Scotland. So what you think? So if they call you Prime Minister already, what you yeah, think? Yeah. That's not MP now, you know. What do you have a big name to you know? He's, he's Mr. Poison. Yeah, but they call you Prime Minister. So, the <laughs> leaders of Prime Minister, man, so what are they? Prime Minister, them. You know me, them should have called Prime Minister, man. So they might call him Prime Minister. That means they might trick to me then, man. I forget to read that him. So them something the most if they might call you Prime Minister, your counselor. And they might call the Prime Minister. Yeah. You don't think so far as I sit down and I contemplate over the thing and I say, well on there. You know, see that man, they might try to undermine me around here, you know. Me I forgot to get to read that him, man. I mean, I, I, I don't know if he get if he got scared. I, I... Him get scared. Do, straight. Me can't me talk I, straight on you know. Him get scared. Him scared of you. But remember, you know, if, all right, you yeah. work, you are counselor. And right. them no call you say, you have any money, you have any money, I you do this, I you hang up people, but all you do, you do your work. So why me I get with yeah. you if you do your work and you serve the people them well? Okay. There is no way me that want to get with you, me that fear back you because you make me look good. Yeah. When you yeah. work, it make me good. It shine like for me. Yes, he told the people. He told the people that um, it's because I brought the party to, to court. That, that's I can't say that is true. That's what I was told. But hold on, and hold on, he, hold on, hold on again. I'm Stephen. Before yeah. he even brought carry the party to court, I then make the first move, and then even the member of parliament there, there is no way exactly. you have a general exactly. secretary exactly. have a right to you and nobody have a right to you unless the member exactly. of parliament exactly. approve them. Exactly. Them now just fact, go behind feet him back. Oh, I'm still. Them now go behind feet back and write you. In fact, in fact, when I in fact when I wrote to the party, I I did make mention that not even the MP they did not consult you with. Yes, I did. I did make mention of it. You understand? So so I was even defending him. And yes, still you see some know, things know. coming out court now where him yeah. <laughs> because of it must have come from him. You're right. It must have come from right. him. Why? But you couldn't believe. Oh, hold well on, hold well on, hold well on a minute, Stephen. So you shock when you see them, them thing that come from him now in a court. That frightened you now, yes, hold on there. I, 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 don't, the court will not, the court will not shock me. And the other things they went put out, say me a traitor. What? And me have a cross. Yeah, man. He said me a traitor and they should, they should exclude me from all WhatsApp group. And that um, I have a cross if we went on PNP. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so this is the man, hold on.
The last time you him, you, 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 you saw him. The last time, I in December. My father, my, my father said that about me. Eh? <laughs> 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 Your father said that about the son. He feel threatened then. So the last time you and him yes. met up, in a December. The last time before the Ura started, he and I toured, I think, the, 20, the Thursday before Christmas. It was the 21st or 22nd, or the 20th, whatever. But the Thursday before Christmas. And you never see this coming? I you never see nothing like 21st. this? You never show no face? Well, I asked him if everything was okay. I finished my Christmas program. I gave him a full update. Yes. And, um, and, I mean, he said, okay, he was satisfied. And um, during the tour, I asked him if everything was okay. And after the tour, he said, yes, he was quite satisfied. Is there anything, anything wrong at all? Yeah. Is anything wrong? Yeah. So, in, so it's, it's not no wrong. And then, and when you get the first letter, can you finish the tour, the Christmas tour? But when you get the first right. letter from the general secretary, when again? Right. The 27th. So, well, on, when you finish the Christmas tour, more of the people that make enough people are watching, even as I watch too, you know, we know him a lot. But tell me something, you finish the tour when? When I get December, when? We did the tour five, six days earlier. So, so you, you finished around the twenty first, and then by yes, six years yes. after you get a letter from the general. Yes. <laughs> and then I know you are betrayal. I'm a betrayal. I'm betraying you. Listen, in the just want to get rid of me or anything, I didn't never know if he said to because the other was good. I, I, with Minister, listen, anything we want to say, yes, I do him after tonight. Me can't tell him say, him do a lot of good for me, but at the same time. In in the same like come same like come and put my neck on the block and me can't tell my mother about me. Yeah? So mm -hmm. Mr. Baz has done a lot of good for me. Me can't tell the same mother about me saying in do a lot of bad now. In, yes. in, in this trial all of that. The man should have just listen to me. Mr. Vaz should have just continued for work with me. And and trust me, he, he would have been proud. He would have been proud. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have been told because me tell you, trust me, me have a good trajectory. Believe it or not, me mm. have a very good trajectory. The man, the man, me don't know, me don't know. It's like, it's like me don't know if a demon, a demonic force. Me don't know what happened, but something went wrong, and he just make a wrong decision. And up to this point, you know, call me. Up to this point, Mister Vaz, call me. Because I am, the, I am his worst enemy. I have disrespected him. I have this, I have that. I have, I have not disrespected him. I have not said anything bad about him. I did not interrupt the campaign. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just remain very low profile. But based on what is happening, persons need to know exactly why I'm not in it. It's not anything that I have done wrong. I have done everything good that a counselor is required to do. But it is, is it is this, the decision of the member of parliament who is the chairman of the constituency who I have to work through politically and the decision of the party to have put me aside. It is nothing wrong that I have done. I am one of the hardest working counselors in Portland and in Jamaica. Mm. You understand? And that means say if they never draw you up for nothing, they never have no complaints, they do nothing wrong, and then push you aside, it must be him. Him feel okay, threatened. When I, when so I tell pass. me something. When they call you, no, yes. can you know me have to put him in a thing now? So when I call the Prime yeah. Minister, you never yeah. cross your mind for say, yo, for that year, they call the Prime Minister and I say, eh, Prime Minister, that means, what are they? Eh, me no, so I'm going to move him. You never, no, never okay. come in your head, I know your thought to say, yo, when you stop calling the Prime Minister and I jump and I jump the gun in your mind, your <laughs> mind fast, no, serious. No, no, because, no, eh. because look here, I, I, because I, in my brain, I always believe that a father is proud of his son. That's true. And I know a lot yes. of people, a lot yes. of people, listen, a lot of people may say now that, why, how would you believe that you are selling a vase when vase is of a, of, a, of a mixed race and you are black and you are this and you are that? But remember, I have been around Minister Vaz and Mrs. Vaz from I was 23, 24, and now I am 41 yes. since uh, about two days ago, since March 5th. I am telling you, it doesn't matter what Mr. Vaz want to say. Mm. He was a good man to me up to January of this year. And he, he ensured that I was kicked out of the party. No matter where. 
Listen, if you want to crash with career, so let it be. But I'm saying to you that <coughs> Minister Vaz, I held him in very high regards and nobody could not say anything to me about him. And I will not take away the good. He's a good man to me. He was a very, very kind of a good person. Mm. Right? Mm. Right? I was really like his son. I am the one who represent him when he's not here. And I am surprised. You know, that has happened, you know. I am surprised the gentleman has not reached out to me up to this point. In mm. fact, he was, he was campaigning at, at, at the nomination. He was campaigning against me, and I, I wasn't in it. I was not nominated. So, hold on. So, hold on. So, hold on. So, hold on, Steve. So, them a campaign, <laughs> and you, them not nominated. Not, no, no. Because I think I, I, I play the whole of our clippings. But all yes, of you, them, them, yeah. them, 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 put your back to the people. Say, you are, these are the candidates. For yes. even two that, right? And you was one yeah, of them. Too. Right? Of course. So, so oh, oh, them put out all the candidates, and then them just, all of a sudden, be on your back. The 21st, you, 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 you finish making Christmas tour with you and the, you and the member of parliament. And then by six oh. days after, you get a letter. <laughs> that, yeah. This bad. <laughs> this bad. Um, Mr. Yeah. Martino, so when they call him that from Titchfield High School, and then Mr. Somebody yeah. said them teach you, you know, they, they, they teach you in school. Let me tell you, Monique Oates. I taught him at college. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Monica, Prime Minister. Yeah. Him say, she said, yeah, Monica, they, that, the Prime Minister, them call it that from morning. And then we say, yeah. some other person, Mr. Anthony Harris, a long time we are calling him Prime Minister. Them say a long time yes. we are calling him. So this now, so maybe get to. Vaz, I uh, don't want to hear them call it too much. They might turn up the Prime Minister thing too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Listen, listen. Yes. For me personally, for me, as I said, I held Minister Vaz in the high regard. Mm -hmm. um, I can't take away the good that he has done for me. I can't take away that. I'll be very ungrateful. Yes. Um, but, but on a serious note, he and I, at some point, will will we'll talk. You know, he and I will talk at some point, right? Mm. Um, but, but in terms of politics, governance and the Jamaica Labour Party. In you have you have three things. You have three elements. You have governance, mm -hmm. you have leadership and you have politics. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to balance all three. So for example, through politics you become a leader, for example a counselor. Mm -hmm. And when you become a leader, you take on leadership, you know you know you know become a policy maker, you help to shape the uh, the, the governance and to and to and to uh, provide oversight for the governance of your locality, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what 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 you find is that what Minister Vaz did was was to weigh too much on the political side for his own political ego, or political expectations, or ambition, whatever it may be, in getting rid of me. He did not foresee that it would affect um, his own leadership. And 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 of course, uh, the governance of the of the um, locality. I think the Portland Municipal Corporation would do better by having me there, still mm. sitting and, and, and making a contribution. You understand what I mean? Um, kudos to those who have who have been um, elected, in, including including my good friend um, Clyde Mackenzie, right? Mm. Um, and I and, and I really plan hope that they will they will do justice to the to the people of Portland. But the fact is. My time, my time was cut short. You understand? And Minister Vaz should give the people of Portland an account as to why a young man who, 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 who was born in Portland, raised in Portland, established a life for himself and family in Portland, a volunteer and serve and is serving the people of Portland. Why did the Jamaica Labour Party put me aside? What is the explanation? Because the explanation cannot be that it is because I brought the party to court or I brought the executive of the party to court. Because Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ uh, was brought to court. And as a result of that, today we have everlasting salvation, right? Access to salvation, free access. So after all, the court is not a bad place. You understand what I mean? Yes. But if him, 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 him to get into court also. Yes. And it, that, that's the point I'm making. But that's why I said they crucified the politically because right now, being on the program is a, is a part of the resurrection. 
Of course. <laughs> of course. Them yeah, program. Yeah, I'm going watch it now, you know. I'm sitting and watch it. I'm on for himself. But boss, you shouldn't do him this. Because, you know, it, it, Portland, uh, you shouldn't do him this. No. Because yeah. remember, you know, if you have, yeah, let me tell you what we are looking for. We are looking for a clean, honest person to, to serve. And that me depend, you know. So when you when you come out now and nobody can you say if him did fling out your name. And me see your name, mm -hmm. I say, hey, him get too much million for clean gully and drain. And him take right. the money, him chop it. I no right. that till I get me upset and vex. But we them right. can't add nothing to you. And then I call right. your snake or something that, that I can throw me off. No man, your, your, your voice have to be heard. Your voice have to be heard. It's wrong. It's wrong. Thank you. I tell her I tell her something too. <laughs> I was doing I was doing so much work with mm -hmm. that that um upon the upon completion of my tenure, right? Yes. Two million two I allocated two million dollars to complete a road in Barks in Mount Pleasant mm -hmm. and an additional million to fix a, a section of a drain in, in food fulfill and some more work at Twitter. Money's money's well left there. So if I was a if I if I was not stringent firm Right and conscious, you know, and handle the people's resources. I would not, I would not been able to undertake so many projects, right? And with resources still leave for the next cones are coming in now. Can I have to deal with? Mm. You understand? If you look through the decision, look, at, I can name no, you know. Uh, watch this now. I, when I said rehabilitation, I'm talking about patching in the bars. Mm. I'm talking about brand new road. Well, well, no road never did it for 100 years. I'm talking about wide and St. Margaret's Bay, airport I in St. Margaret's Bay. Um, Wonder Road, an alternative road leading to Mount Pleasant, back through to the community center, a section of it, the entire Pantan Road, part of Supplement Road, Cooper's Hill Road, um, um, Backwood Road in, in, in Grants Gate, um, uh, Old Road near the post office in, in Fruitfulville, uh, um, Commodores, a uh, top section of Commodore, he did the, the other section. Um, we, we did a complete patching of Bad Spring, total rehabilitation of a section of the Tickner Road, total rehabilitation of Chinaman Lane, total rehabilitation of Lime Tree Lane, that's the road in Ophelia leading to the school, total rehabilitation of the, of the road in Binnings Lane to include a brand new Boxcar Road, I would call a, a small little bridge, right? All, the, 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 all these roads, I would have, you would have contributed, right, gently contributed with the Pantan Road, the Sacrament Road, the Airport Heights Road, right? And we, and we came together for the Binnings Lane Road. Mm. You understand what I mean? So, so even those giant projects, the giant projects in, in Cooper's Hill, I spent 10 million on the surface, 10.5, um, 10 million, 500,000, I believe. He spent, um, um, 19, I think 19 million plus he installed the bridge, the bridge there. You understand? Mm. Just in May of last year, I, I got private funding to patch the road from, from St. Margaret's Bay to born with 6.5 million dollars. That is not parish council money. You understand what I mean? Oh. Yeah? To patch the entire stretch of, 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 um, of, of, of roadway. He, he had put him to do it, right? But, but then I got some funding, so I, I, I dealt with it and, and, and everything. You understand what I mean? Minister Vash, not, and he hold the people, not only me alone, he hold the people of my division and Portland and explanation and an apology. And the Jamaica Labour Party need to apologize to. Yeah, man. Yeah, in man. Fact, in fact, it's, it need, it need, in fact, the entire election that has just taken place for the Jamaica Labour Party, the Jamaica Labour Party, the leader, um, Mr. Um, Daniel Blanjulness, he needs to establish an internal inquiry, commission of inquiry, as to why we did support in some of these seats, why we did support in some of these parishes, question every aspect of the campaign, why were candidates like myself were removed at the last moment. He's aware of some of these, of course, you know. Yes. So he can answer some of the questions. But, but Jamaica needs to know, the, 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 the supporters of the Jamaica Labour Party, whether internally or externally, need to know, especially that we are the government in power. Why did we? Why did we do so poorly in mm. the uh, at the polls mm. as the as the as the, as the, go, as the government? Mm. Why? True. I think the PNP did something like that from their last election, our twenty six. I don't, I don't yes, remember. Yes, yes, yeah. They, they have to do it. You know, you have to go to one. You have to do it. Up. You have to do it. You're right. You're right. They need to do that. One thing I want to say. Look, wait. One thing I want to say. Yes. Is that I have seen where. The posture of the leaders of the Jamaica Labour Party has changed to one that is more autocratic. Um, every, every one of us, all of us as leaders, know at times you have to you have to be autocratic, you have to be democratic, you have to take various approach. Yes, yes. Are serious, all the approaches in management, right? Mm -hmm. It is important that we possess our policies, but I see where 
the weight of the of the, the focus of leadership in terms of yes. decision making and critical decision making yes. is now is now being more autocratic than anything else. And it's actually <laughs> yes. in the party. Yes. It is part of the party and in some regards we are concerned government policies. It may very well be hurting the, the government and the people of Jamaica or the image of the government um, currently. I think the yes. Prime Minister will not have to have to do a, 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 a deep self-introspection and reflect on how we operate as a party and how we operate as a government. Mm. And and I mean I mean it, it can't continue like this. It can't. It can't can. why 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 do I move it? Because all uh, because a, a person yeah. have more power and more authority and probably more money. Not not specific, not singling out Minister Vaz, but overall. Yes. Yeah, the autocratic thing not work. It's not gonna work. We want a democratic thing where people, you know, you did it for the people then. That's why them kind of prime minister and them tell me it's a farm school. And then if him can't find something for all your buy, why why move you when you perform? That is it. Because they want some it. yes man. Let me talk straight, you know, because I love how you talk straight to you know. And that me like when people yeah. come up and talk straight. Like me, because of that right. we talk about we want better governance for the country. We want to see the country move That's forward. Right. You know what I know? The art aquatic business and them things like you had some supreme ruler and you want, you know, I want yes. your answer to me are my way or no way. The people them bow to me are something that must not work. It's a democratic Simple. country. Okay? Simple. So it's not supposed to work. This is stop. Simple. You understand? Stop. Any kind of leader where, where, no. Them not supposed to they bow but them a govern not, not all. That kind of True. barbaric kind of leader business that no work. Look on this. You the West Port and I do your work. I miss them of a mere. When them put in mm. back right now, me I get 75. Me having promise screen, 75 out, 75 dollars out of 10 dollars. But them like people like this as long as you can lap your tail. And you say yes, 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 yes. Like oops the chicken. These things to stop. The people them demand better. You understand? Of them government and them and them local and them councillors and the mayor. Yes. Oh, them keep Definitely. him, but them move you. It is an embarrassment, right. and them keep him, but them move it's a, you. It's an embarrassment, trust me. It's an embarrassment. It's a major embarrassment. I think, I think even the prime minister need, as a leader of the party, he needs to address the situation because there, I've been, I've been receiving calls from as far as Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Israel, because you know we as we 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 have a lot of Jamaican serving in the armed forces in a, in a lot of places and in the diplomatic world. And a lot of people have been calling me all over the world, England, Portugal. Mm. I mean, some youth, me and them go school together, them live in Portugal, them call me, them say, boy, Steve, I am disheartened at all the people I'm dealing with and what has happened, man, because I know they have this dream and passion. And when all I will leave Jamaica and think, yes, boy, you're not leave because you just want to be the prime minister and serve the people and TV the people and everything. You understand know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All across the world, I'm getting called. Canada, USA, in the Caribbean, Barbados, people people are so disappointed. The Jamaica Labour Party need to address this situation. They need to address it. You're right. And not just for me, but for the for the young man that was replaced in, in Geisel. Mm -hmm. And um, for, for even Romain, even Romain. Even Romain. Even Romain. And yes, them telling Pine and them just going to scream bad because the member of parliament no want yeah. him. And tell him, say, you, the member, him tell me, because I remember me interviewing. So him tell me, him told me, yeah, him told yeah. me that, listen to me. Um, the, 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 the member of parliament said to him, say, you, we he say, you're going to run against me, you know. So where I move, you're yeah. to me. Him tell me, that's why I ask you. You know, Vaz might have yeah. threatened to. Because if him feel threatened and the autocratic business clicking at them head, you know. It's a ruler thing now, and about governor again, you know. That, and about yeah. democracy again, you know. It's about yes, a, like, yes. <laughs> like hey, they must say, eat this. Remember, you know, you say councillors. I, I can tell her. I can tell her when. Yes. Um, Mrs. Vaz is like a mother to me. Mm. Um, she a sweet lady, and I, I can tell you, she's she's totally disappointed. She's totally disappointed with what has happened. I can't tell her that she's disappointed with her husband or whatever, but she's totally disappointed with what has happened to me. Mm. She's totally disappointed. She she's so upset about it. It's unbelievable. Oh, so I am yeah. like I because I I've always been like her son, you know. She defend yeah. me right too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's a she thing that that coming like kind of also is an assault and sugar situation because 
She totally said she disappointed, but her husband, remember, Ed and Ed, and Ed go up and pillar, you know. And yes, still her I husband. I put him put you up. I call you. When you say you, 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 you betray her. Yeah, the truth is, the truth is, um, I, I would expect her to disrespect her husband. You know? No, I know that. I know but that I know still. She's a lady. She's a lady yes. that speaks her mind. She's mm. a lady that speaks her mind. I would, I would be surprised if she tell him outright that what he has done is wrong. You understand? Mm. She, she, that, that lady loved me so much. You can't tell her anything about it. I tell you that. She loved me so much. And I know of a fact that she would she, she, she tell him. But is 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 her husband. So at the end of the day, I mean, uh, they are public, um, um, uh, the whole public office, and that there are certain things I don't think she would come out to disrespect her husband or anything like that. Nah. That she still have her mind to protect. You understand? Yes, but on yes. a political basis and personally, we know, say, no matter what they tell her, they, they can't change their mind from it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you again, you know. I'm going to have to talk to you again and see what I'm going to do. Oh, no, wait, you know, today. No match. No, we mean a match. Yeah. And I don't know yes. after the election run, nobody contact you or nothing. Contacted you, nothing. No one. They treat me like they treat me like a dog. It but this bad though. So when you can't yes. know about your put in work and you did remember you know you born and going to put her. And for him come over port and then establish himself and then your work with him so long. And him just kick you at the wayside. But, all right, let me tell you something, Val. She can't some stay now. Lion to over royalty. Yes. If this was me, yeah. I like when I see you go through this, me couldn't go power with yeah. Vals. Because I, mean, I think they might do me the same thing, he can't tell me nothing. Can I tell us, if I get one hour and then do me the same thing, this will come out of my head, he cannot be trusted again. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people know he, he has lost trust and confidence, not only in me, but quite a number of other. My son, my son wouldn't do that, for example. You understand? Yes. My son wouldn't do that. Yeah, you know, man. My son, Mr. Pat, you know something if my son's the prime minister on TV, that's that's Andrew Wellness, right? Um in my in my call me now, but if it's Mr. Bars and Mrs. Bars, I said, Daddy, if Mr. Bars there on, on the TV and Mrs. Bars. <laughs> yeah, <right>? Yes, yes. <laughs> that yes. Is, that, you hear, you hear me talk about them and you see how many move and things. So my son have that respect for them. You understand? Yeah. I, I it does I'm I'm telling you from my heart, from my heart. I don't think Minister Vaz had a clue how much I loved him and how much I appreciate and respect him. I don't, I don't think he had a clue. Trust me. He's a, he was very kind to me. He was very good. He was a father figure. But boy, I didn't know that he had so such... The monster, um, the monster. <laughs> turning our monster overnight. And you don't know what I'm going to just All of a sudden, they just root you up. If you nothing. He said, if they yeah, call and him put out say you do something wrong, it can't be, you yes. go court. And it can be your well, evil well, because you stand up for your right and this are, this are you, you want to save the people. So him can bring that to me and say because him do this, that are, that are the same thing I talk about, that I'm more like a, a that situation. Yeah, yeah. Because a democratic country, you don't care when I quote him yeah. the right to do this. And you can't vex with him. No party can't vex with him for do that. See? Right, you know something? Yes. He might, he might, he might come out and apologize. I say it's a mistake. <laughs> but where you do? Yeah. Fall back in the trap? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I mean, he, he, I, I have to know, admit, listen. I have to admit, what I what I have done, I have looked at the good that he has done, that cannot be taken away from him. And I have, I have looked at the bad that he has done, yes. which will be assigned to him, which will be assigned to him. Yes. Right? So, so, so I am giving thanks and praises for the good. Right, and I'm also assigning the bad to him. Okay, good. But I'm going, to, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, me have to talk to you again. No, me have to talk to you again. The face out. Me have to talk to you again. Just to pray for him. Yes. That, let me just just two quick things. I'm going to pray for him. That yes. there's a song that says, "Give me a heart like thine," that God will speak to him and that God will change him from his wicked, wicked ways into the best leader. Right? Yes. That one would desire for him to be. But and so, you know, I want to thank you for inviting me on the program. But yes. before I go, I just want to say as well that I want to big up. I want to big up the honorable Errol Warmington. Yes. Mr. Warmington, the, 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 yes. Uh, and a former chairman of your account too. Yes. He has officially resigned, I am told. Yes. And uh he was he was one of the best Euro council chairman that 
your accounts to two as ever seen. Mm. Um, I am I am very disheartened what has happened based on his departure, mm. right? Um, from the office, etc. But I I am just saying to Jamaica that he was the best chairman for your council. He was always punctual. He was always fair in his um, assessment and his approach. He was down to earth. He's very humble and someone that you can reason with, right? And he look out for all Labour Party supporters and everyone else. I mean, you can't find a better politician than him. But I, I, he's, he's, he's very, he's, he's a man of equity in terms of how he deal with people. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, you, you, you see the, the public flair in the media and all of that. So that's 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 public um and media politics. But in terms of his work in the party, mm. trust me, we have lost we have lost a great um chairman and party but, star but, in terms of but with him, no, but, with him, but with him to him say you know the prime minister same resign, but him say listen, and the clique say you know them can't keep him. Same same now go work works again because if if the PSOJ and them run out them you know yeah yet and say listen don't keep him the PSO J one like people vote for them that for yeah, stop well, to well, Jamaica well, no we need that for stop to you know these people true, never go print well, me never see none of them from back in the days of old when we check up everything you know back on Massa them never got prison yet them never did not you know so them the, the police force are from the 90 and um, from the 1700 when it named Night yes. Watchman. That mean uh, our yes. people, the boss is slave, they look over other slaves, but these people don't go to prison and nothing at all. They make that yes. look over our people True. and everything. And it continues to the day we have to break that chain. But, but we, we want service. Is, um, yes. Yeah, I'm third, I'm third, the media mentioned, you know, the statement that Mr. Warmington made, right? Yes. Let me just make it absolutely clear. No minister of government. It is not the practice, not the policy of the cabinet, mm -hmm. not any not any ministry through its ministers, or is caused by its minister, meaning whichever ministry, to mm -hmm. allocate any funds to any councillor. Mm -hmm. So that statement that Mr. Warmington made, mm -hmm. even though it may be irresponsible because he apologized, yes. right? As a, as a senior public official, mm -hmm. but technically, constitutionally, policy-wise, governance-wise, it doesn't happen any at all. Okay. So tell me something, though. Tell, tell me something, though. Let me ask you something, though. Um, yeah. The Prime Minister, the other day, with the, 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 the road, the money, the, the 40 billion, I said, okay, he might give each member of parliament 100 and something million. But them ask, but well, all the courts are get money, but them said this is about the money where I make them that them can get money. Hold on, hold on. Let me I'm gonna answer that. But let me just yeah. let me just quickly in 10 seconds um finish what I was saying is that we the councillors at the municipality we get a monthly subvention that the law said that we are to get a percentage of the road license, what we call registration, right? Yes. We get a percentage of that for the parochial revenue fund or the PRF. That is what we use to do road maintenance. Um, or the road road yeah, because that money for use for that. Yes. So we get a percentage of it. Okay. Right. And the less amount put together, we, we get a small amount um, allocated to division from yes. the property tax. We get a small amount of it, um, to assist with to assist with um, drain cleaning and debushing and so on. The majority of the property tax go towards street light and garbage collection, the, the, the majority of it. Some of it goes to the consolidated fund, some of the road license fee also go to the consolidated fund. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? That the, 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 the consolidated fund, the equalization fund okay. in the Ministry of Local. Right? So, so no, 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 no minister, no, just get up and say the Maggie Council money, huh? yeah, right. nothing like that, rubbish. So, mm -hmm. so what should have happened? What should have happened? The office of the Prime Minister should have clarified that. Mm -hmm. Right, the decision of the Prime Minister so that Mr. Warmington continue in the cabinet. That is his decision. Okay, that's the mm -hmm. Prime Minister's decision. But not not, not some private say. sector to tell him and then that's what Warmington say. Eh? Not no, them. It's a bad, and, and look here, and I believe it's a bad precedent of for course. the private sector to come out and say a person to go and a person to go and, and the Prime Minister does remove them or the leader of the opposition does remove them. For example, in Dennis Meadows case, that's a totally different thing that was clear. But yes. in Mr. Warming's case, they should have made, um, they should have clarified it. But 
We don't have the Prime Minister want to move, Mr. Warmington. It is not this, this private sector and this civil society. It's a bad precedent because from time to time, they may do right. But what about when they are wrong? All right. But we don't have time them wrong, but I said, oh, good them. As I said before, you know, you have two laws in Jamaica, and, and it bothers me. I'm going to talk about it, because, you know, I'm not, not put my mouth on and talk, I'm going to talk straight as this. These people, so much thing happened in the country, I never see one of them behind bars yet. No. From way back, not even no. one. And I like them to break laws, you know. But I, number I one, so we cannot afford when this. You can't happen in America, you know. Don't in America, you see movie star and you see politician and everybody get charged. Of Up course. to now with Donald Trump and where you see a go on. You're not bigger than the law. But in a Jamaica, no, they I, are. And it's bad. Yeah, and, and, yes. and okay, they come out. And, and when I start a flag waving, some flag will get about the place sometimes. Yes. And they're not saying about them something. They're not saying about them something. Okay. You're not saying about them something. Yeah, they're not saying about them something. But the next thing to know, you talk about the $40 billion program, right? Um, The $40 billion program, the Prime Minister made it clear that $150 million is allocated to each constituency, all 63 constituencies, right? Yes. Now, what he said is that all stakeholders per constituency, per constituency, mm -hmm. must sit together, must sit together to decide which road is 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 most is is more suitable or which road which road mm -hmm. is most outstanding in terms of repairs or rehabilitation. No, watch this, watch this. Mm -hmm. The stakeholders include first and foremost the people in the community. Mm -hmm. The member of parliament, mm -hmm. the councillor, mm -hmm. the, the the national roads agency, mm -hmm. the engineer department, uh, the roads and department from mm -hmm. such municipality in the parish, mm -hmm. right? The social development commission mm -hmm. and and the, the PDC, CDCs, etc. Mm -hmm. So all oh, everybody. So let, let us use Portland as an example. Mm -hmm. Let us use West Portland as an example. So Minister Vaz would know. Sit with all his four councillors, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the Paris Council, the NWA representative, the SDC reps, and the community at large. They would have a consultation with a one or two throughout mm -hmm. the consequence and say, hey, we have $150 million. Um, these are what are the roads that you, the residents, want to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And this, these are what we have on file and everything put together. A discussion had the SDC have something they, 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 um, that they call a matrix, right? Mm -hmm. um a process that they use so the matrix would, would actually outline everything all the priority roads would be on the matrix mm -hmm. and then there's some discussion throughout that meeting for example it would come down to the, the top three or the top four roads that mm -hmm. are supposed to be and the criteria set out so from that now from that mm -hmm. the roads would be done but the, 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 the significant as you have asked the prime minister outlined that this this money is for secondary roads mm -hmm. That's in your era where you live and everything. Yes, yes. Secondary road. Yes, yes. It not, but it does not have to be. However, the secondary road may or may not be a parochial road. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So so let me give an example. Let me give an example. In my in formerly in my division, right? My division formerly, St. Margaret's Bay Division, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we have we are from from St. Margaret's Bay to Bournemouth via via um via Rock Hall Industry. And, and those areas, or mm -hmm. from Oak Bay Square to Cooperville via Shrewsbury, Fruitful Vale, Chatsworth, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if say, say Minister of us choose either road, here you think, from St. Margaret's Bay to Bournemouth via, via Mount Pleasant, Cooperville industry, that road is a parish council road, you know? It's a oh. secondary road, but it's a parish council road. Okay. The, the, the road from Oak Bay through Fruitful Vale, Shrewsbury, uh, Chatsworth, Dumfries, etc., to Cooperville, um, a, a major section of it is is an NWA road, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so if you if you plan to fix both or either of them, mm -hmm. right? It does matter. It is a secondary road, which may or may not be a parochial road. Okay, but it's secondary road. Yes, yes. So, so councillors, as the prime minister said, councillors should be involved in the discussion. They should not be bullied. They should not be. Um, Pull it in any ways mm. by the NPI and the body else to say, well, whatever. It is a it is a um, cohesive approach with the mm. community and everything. All right, let me tell you the problem I have with that though. Um you see, yeah. that's what I believe in a, when you have agency, government will start set up like cohesive foreign setup now. I mean I tell them straight. When them have agency, yeah. agency 
you know, take care of the road and repair the road. But we we'll step from this, can we say first world country? We are moved to that. We have to move to it and stop the foolishness. I remember tell you where, where, where they, you have some you have some problem. You know, they say you come from East Kingston like me. And I come from road A, you come from road B, somebody else come from road C, D, E, F, G, go down, right? We just have use yes. alphabet. Now, when we come together, yeah. in our place, my road not fixed so long time, 500 years, 1,000 years. We just, just for tax here. And me, why my road for fix, and you want your road for fix. But remember, the money can't fix so much road, the tongue can't fix two or three. But you call out 80,000 people and sit down and then feel them road that fix and then you pick three. You know, she say, give a car more trouble than anything else. I don't think it's a white. You know, sometimes them do it and them do it. You know, them, 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 these oversight, them don't look pan enough. You know. But you have to think out of the box, brother. Oh. See? So you need yeah. fit you work back with agents. If you start from something, you start until they can get you and get you and thing. But don't put so much people on the table if you got to talk to because if you don't fix my road, I'll kick up one person. And I see your road side, I'll fix it you now. And the next one up, there's a female road fix, on the four road fix, but we have a hundred. You them can't tell me nothing again. So this can't cause yeah. kind of You understand me? It's just simple how me break down things. What, what I think, what I, yes. what I think, Jesse, what I think, put the put the debt to GDP ratio ahead. Put the put the um the, 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 the budget surplus aside. Put both aside, right? Yes. yes. Um put the reduction of the debt aside. All two um um interrelated basically. But what I'm saying is that what the government really needs to do is to create a road, a road fund, a road ban. You see, like how you have the, it, in, we have the parochial revenue fund, right? In mm. the parish courts, right? Mm. Uh, in the Ministry of Local Government. Now, that, there's a source of funds. So funds not just take from the consolidated fund, put that at it. It has to do with the registration, how many vehicle registers, et cetera, et cetera. Now, in, in our case, that's, that's not enough money you know, to do what we need to do. It's not enough. But I'm saying the government could put a, a, a road fund together, put a ban together. Right, we are, we are, we are, we we know we know establish across the length and breadth of Jamaica and say, hey, there's fourteen thousand kilometers of road that the prime minister made mention of. Right, mm. we are going to fix them over over a five year period. Mm. Right, and we need we need X amount of money, and you create a. Home, but but, but all right. So let me tell you again, Steve. You know, I'm not yes. the, the same thing. We go back to PWA. Our PWD, but they used yeah. to have. If we just have back the agency, this is how they do a year. So they don't have to force it because the funds are already there, you know. And, and you have to yeah. you know, make it go in at this, this repair so long, you know. You, you understand? So, so long, so much years. Yeah, so, so, so remember what yeah, we are license, remember what we have to drive, you know. We have, we have we license this, the insurance company, they want to get a bag of money. You know, the government have to get them tax off of this and everything. Because everything you have to go, you know. License and insure, right. and these money go back. Not just a percentage. Go back to the in the whole fourteen parishes. It have it have it have these agencies. They know it have a fixed government agency and repair them. You understand? Maintain yes. them like foreign. Because remember, foreign have no road. Millions and miles yes. of and you still maintain yes. them. So we're gonna set us to something like that now. Because we are talking about twenty thirty vision and them thing that we still have go back we and I put some people. Here. We should have free up the council if we go do something else. Deal yeah, with yeah, agents. Yes. I'm going to tell you something that we're going to shock yes. you now. Without, without, um, without serious, without proper installation of water main. Yes. And proper installation of some excellent drains and sidewalks. So take the excellent drains and sidewalks out of it. Mm. Take the excellent uh, water installation out of it. But to just really rehabilitate the base of a road mm -hmm. and put in what I would call minor drains that you know really mash up in our way or whatever so on. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, in terms of uh, that ten million dollars, for example, you know, can barely do five hundred meters of road, you know, based on all the the, the cars and stuff. Yeah, me know that, me know that, me know that. But we so have well, yeah. When I talk about hundred and fifty million dollars. When you talk about a hundred and fifty million dollars. Now go far, then that me I talk about the same thing. Come back to what I say. So me I say, you know what we want, you know what we build. You know what them do? You see, we live in a in a some condition when you have some snow and them things about the road no mash up like this because when them build road, them build it, you know. When them repair road, you know, me drive past us. I remember yeah. me drop a patrol on my way, been a pass up in the last route, you know. And money that, you know, for thing me with. So the road, them have always have repair. See? I remember you have you have some terrible condition where but you have good road. I mean, I have them kind of 
and the patch out for a diving and them thing in any place. No. So you understand? But so when they build the road, they want to build it build for last, really. Okay. You remember we used to use yeah. some crushed stone? We used to use the top stone them and everything in the road. And them for just go back and get something like what North America use and thing. I said, well, you know, set a cost some money, but we can build it. That means we last. So we'll go over the road there. We have to go back over this way and do the next one. Here's the problem that we have now, Wayne. Here's the problem that we have. In about 2002, if I'm correct, don't quote me on the year. Yes. The 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 public department was was um came to an end, right? Yes. yes. Uh, right. And and the National Roads Agency, uh, it was transformed into the National Roads Agency in terms of it being a an executive um, agency, right? Yes. Yes. No, the National Roads Agency they do not have any income generating um avenue right mm -hmm. so, so so what they do they spend, they spend government money and 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 all of that so mm -hmm. what what you are talking about is 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 is, is the repair the consistent repair that the that the public works department used to used to carry out yes. right mm -hmm. but the government the policy of the government they have moved away from that so unless the government changes policies then we are that me talk about thank you it's a big come yeah. in it. But we want to go back to the thing then make, make the thing them work. But if you look on how oh, 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 we have said first world country or oh, it operates so it work. And what for those things to make it work because we can't do something today and the water come because we have proper drainage and them things and to wash it back. It a cause with too much. It causes more upon the long run, you know. Because Definitely. we live in a hurricane belt and it causes more upon the long run, you know. Where them thing and sometimes we have a little earthquake and them thing and if them not fix right uh -huh. because we can't just pay it and we spend our money and then yeah. we have to go back over it by a year and two and then the next year and two then we not reach no way we can't cover the thing yeah. and, and it all go until it broke we it all go we yes. so we have yes. to think of something yeah. better than this draw back for something and change it up anyway me gonna run you know because you know me but we have to talk to you again yes sir all okay. right Thanks. Thank you, 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 thank no concern of money left, left back to them chat that long time. But in my work for the people, them who you see I work, let them see I work, my brother. Look how you keep on a one year. But you move him. What we have brilliant minds on you know, you know shelf them don't do it. Stop it, man. We not business, right? Cross the board, you know, you know, shelf brilliant mind, brilliant minds. Don't do it. Keep it real. Yeah? We have to keep it real around here, you know. Anyway, but there you know. Until later, I'm out. Blessed.